Well, hey friends, it is a busy morning for us. We are off to go pick up our groceries. This is the first time that we are ordering groceries online and we're stopping at the consignment store and I need to do all of that within an hour and it takes us about 20 minutes to half an hour to get where we need to go. So we got a boogie. We'll check in soon. Hi, I am here to pick up my groceries. Sure, it's Mandy. I'm in number one. So here we are. We're getting our groceries. Um, this is the first time that we are actually doing pickup and I don't think I'm going to do anything else from this point forward because it was so amazing. And it was really nice to be able to see your total. Um, and to be able to kind of like add and subtract things and it was really great when it came to prices for like meat and produce because I don't know about you but I don't really weigh my stuff it just kind of guesstimate and sometimes I'm way off um, but it gave you a really solid guesstimate of what that price would be so I could like add another apple or take an apple away so Anyways, it was really good. We dropped the clothes off at the consignment store. It only took a few minutes. I was nervous that it was going to take longer, even though I've done it a million times. It just, when you press for time, you know what I mean? Okay, so I got the kids set up in the classroom. Aubrey is working on some schoolwork and Cole is coloring a picture. I have a ton of stuff to do here in the kitchen. I need to get all of this food put away and I really like to prep a lot of it and get it into the fridge because it's so much <laughs> that uh, it's not going to fit well if it's not taken care of properly. So um, in the next day or two here, I do need to do a freezer inventory. So I will go ahead and film that as well. Um, I need to start clearing out my freezer because it's packed. And um, yeah. <laughs> it's time to go through some of that food. So I do have a lot of the meat that we have on hand. Not a lot of it, but I have most all next... <laughs> Nah. Um, I, on my meal plan, almost all of the meat that we have, that we're going to be eating, comes from the freezer. How difficult is that to say? Um, yeah. Okay, so let's talk about a couple things. A, my hair. Um, I got it cut, and I'm not super duper crazy about it, even more so looking at it in the viewfinder. Um... I just, the picture I showed was something different and it's not, I can't get this to do what I want it to do. So I need it to grow a little bit so I can make it look how I want it to look. In the meantime, I got this. So <laughs> it is what it is. Nothing I can do about it. I'm happy that it's short because short hair is more me. It's fast, um, but I just, I'm not really sure how to style it yet and it's not working any way that I want it to work so there's that elephant in the room secondly we are entering our sixth week of homeschool it's been going really well of course there's um, <clears throat> challenges and we've had really rough moments and tears um, it's not all roses and not that I ever thought it was going to be but uh, I guess I didn't expect it would be that tough right away but we're doing really well with it and I still know that it's the right choice for us so um, yeah that's going good and hopefully throughout the rest of this month I'll be able to share with you some more glimpses of our homeschooling also I guess I should probably say I'm attempting to do vlogist or vlogist vlogist vlogtober um vlogtober hello or not october um I'm attempting to do vlogtober I didn't have a video for yesterday because I will be honest, I completely let it slip my mind that it was actually Vlogtober and I, when I went onto YouTube and I saw lots of people doing it, I said, I need to do this. I've been off of YouTube for so long, I just need to get back in. I feel like I have so much to say. I think on my channel like all of the time and I just need to take the time and just be here and put out content and connect with y'all again because it's just... I feel out of the loop and I think about you guys so much and I just want to be here that I just need to be here. So 
that's the goal that's the attempt not every day will be a vlog um i do have like you know more sit down type oh my god it's there i do have more like sit down type things that i want to do um like my uh, homeschool planner homeschool room tour um a bunch of different things like that that i will film instead of a vlog and i'm thinking that my vlogs will probably be a little bit more simple like i'm not going to put a ton of like editing and like cool camera angles and fun stuff like that because to be perfectly honest my laptop is awful and it takes like 20 minutes to even load and it's really difficult to edit on it um and so i think i'm just gonna keep it simpler so that i can actually produce content so that's my thoughts um i'm gonna go ahead and start cleaning up the kitchen and probably get some food prepped uh while the kiddos to school let's go so I did want to tell you guys one thing. Um, when we were on our way home from town today, we passed a really serious accident. And it was a pickup truck, and it was so mangled, it looked like, how could anybody have survived this? It was so bad. Um, it was on its roof. Um, I don't think it was a fatality, because usually when there is a fatality on the highway, they shut the highway down in both directions and you can't pass on the highway so we were still able to get by um however i realized i'm trying to be quiet so my kids don't hear me um i realized that we would have been driving through that area about the time of the accident the crews were on site like the truck was still there police were taking statements like it was a really recent accident the ambulance had already been through um but it was really quite serious and i realized that the lord had put people in our path today to extend our day and keep us off the highway at that time because the other thing is is that truck was in our lane it was it was in our lane um and as we drove through it took everything in me not to bust out bawling and I just was so thankful that everything that happened prior to us being on that highway happened. We ended up, when we were at the consignment store, we were leaving and I ended up seeing a woman who, I think she owns the consignment store, but she, her son was in Aubrey's um, senior kindergarten class. And she and I had been friendly and we talked a bit. Um, we started talking about homeschooling and that conversation was really long and um, really long conversation. And then, I mean, it was like probably 20 minutes. And then as I was getting ready to leave, another friend who we hadn't seen since the summer since camp um who doesn't even live in our town like at all came walking in the door to consign some toys and she had parked right next to us and so we were talking like we said hello like in the consignment store and like chatted for a minute and then we went outside and we were like talking and stuff and i realized that those conversations because it was I realized that those conversations were likely the thing that kept us in town longer and kept us from avoiding the accident. I'm not saying that we would have been in the accident, I'm not even saying it would have happened right in front of us, but I'm saying that the timing coincided completely. And I feel so strongly that the Lord put those people on my path as angels to keep us from that accident. And the overwhelmingness of that hit me as we were driving through and weaving around the police cars. Um, and the song came on the radio and it was, um, Cutlass was singing it, but I really love the version by Stephanie, can't say her last name. Um, and it's, you're never going to let me down. You're never going to let me down. And I will leave a link to that down below because this song hits me hard every single time and I just turn it up so loud and I just at one I, I couldn't stop myself from crying at one point because it really had just felt like God protected us 
and he put these people in our path to have these conversations to keep us in town longer so that we would avoid whatever had happened on that highway. I don't know what happened on the highway. I don't know if the person's okay. If I find out later, I'll let you know in the course of this vlog, but sometimes we get really hung up by things that delay us and we have no idea what those delays are actually causing for us. So carry that with you, marinate it on it, let it sink in your heart however it will, but just know that sometimes those delays are keeping you from something that you had no idea was going to happen. guys it is way later in the day it is 20 to 7 at this point so my camera my nice camera is something's wrong with it um it keeps turning on and uh it won't shut off kind of thing and i was filming and the battery was dying so i went to charge it and then it just kind of kept turning on over and over and over again and it wouldn't charge. So I've tried to take the battery out hoping that would like reset something and even that didn't like turn it off. Um, so yeah, so I am on my old camera. This is a vlogging camera. Um, I know the quality is <laughs> not even remotely close to being the same and um, I know that there were issues with this camera as well. Sometimes things sound very scratchy. It has nothing to do with how I'm holding the camera. It's just the camera itself. It's old. <laughs> so I'm going to try to continue to just film and use this. Um, I am on my way to go sign up for the YMCA. I'm really excited about this, but I am going to the YMCA with my sister-in-law, my mother-in-law, and I'm signing up for a family membership for myself and the kiddos, and I guess Shane will be on that as well. So I'm excited about this new journey. I need to get going. I'm going to put on a podcast, and we are going to head into town. So I absolutely love this song. It's so good. Um, so the thing about our radio is, it's super fun, is that you can replay, I know this isn't showing up very well, but you can replay live music, and so this song came on, and I just kept playing it over and over and over again, um, and then you can actually favorite it, so it will tell up here um, if you have a favorite song or a favorite artist that's playing, but I usually listen to The Message, which is in... Um, Sirius XM uh, channel and it's the Christian channel. They have really good good music on it So I am totally jamming out to that song, but I'm at my in-laws house now some time to run in and go the way <laughs> <laughs> 